Tokyo when the injured soldier was loaded into the Black Hawk helicopter, Sergeant First Class Gopal Singh, on his last mission as a flight medic, said a prayer. He did not think the man, who had been shot five times, was going to survive. I could tell immediately that this guy was probably going to die in the next 15 minutes if we didn't start working on him and get the aircraft off the ground, said Singh, a medic in the 8th Army's 2nd Combat Aviation Brigade, stationed at Camp Humphreys in South Korea. The evacuation crew did not know it then, but their patient was a North Korean soldier who had just made a daring dash for freedom across the Joint Security Area the neutral section in the demilitarized zone where enemy troops stand face to face. The soldier, a 24-year-old named Oh Chong Song, was shot five times by North Korean border guards November 13 as he ran across the line, but he managed to get himself to shelter against a building on the southern side. He lay there, in a pile of leaves, for as long as 30 minutes until South Korean soldiers were able to crawl to him and drag him to safety. While they were doing that, PFC. Karina Lopez, the radio operator in a, a 60 medical evacuation Black Hawk crew that was on duty at Camp Casey, a U.S. base on the southern side of the DMZ, received a call saying they might be needed for a medical evacuation. For more than six decades, U.S. and South Korean troops have been coordinating in a face off with the Communist North, the DMZ is their front line. Military chiefs say events such as this underscore the importance of the alliance. Dramatic video shows North Korean soldier making a run for freedom. The crew was four days into a seven-day shift, on call around the clock similar to those of firefighters or ambulance teams for medical emergencies. The crews assigned to Camp Casey get about three medevac calls a month, usually to transfer a patient from a clinic near the border to a hospital. One of their recent missions was to collect a South Korean farmer who had been injured and take him to a hospital. This time was different. The next call that Lopez received summoned the crew to the joint security area, she was told that a soldier had been shot. They arrived seven or eight minutes later, finding the medical personnel on duty in the JSA waiting with the patient ready to be helicoptered out. It was when the soldier was loaded into the Black Hawk that Singh, who was starting his final month in South Korea and the Army, realized how serious his patient's injuries were. I actually said a prayer because I saw the condition he was in, said Singh, who is 39 and from San Antonio. The pilots could probably tell by my voice that he was in real danger of dying. The personnel at the JSA had stopped a lot of the bleeding from the gunshot wounds to the shoulder, chest, and abdomen, but O was having difficulty breathing. He was trying to sit up on one side, a sign that he might be taking air inside his chest from a wound. Escaped North Korean soldier fights for life after being shot crossing DMZ. Singh performed a needle chest decompression, puncturing the soldier's chest cavity to allow the air building up inside to escape.